I think we are very close at the other side as we have again three injured players for the moment, players who played the games before. So um, it's a little bit, yeah, it's a pity, but I think for yeah, 80, 85 percent that uh, the team is made. Um, there can be changes, certainly there can be changes, but I'm very happy that we are already so far. And with those two games now, Swantini and, uh, and Ivory Coast, I can really make uh, the choices uh, next month for the more important games against uh, Benin and uh, Rwanda. I look at, especially um, in the midfield, um, the return of Mukwena and Jabula Plom, um, and also even in the, in the attack as well. Are these, when you look at it, a two of the areas that give you headache when you have to when you when you select the final two. Yeah, now today it's certainly the left back. We have uh, Maela injured, we have Maseko injured, so there's only Modiba. So uh, let's hope. Uh, I don't really hear uh, good information about the uh, injury of uh, of Maela, so maybe he will not be there next month either. So that, that gives me a little bit headache. And also, yes, we are looking, we are looking, but for the moment we don't really find a really replacement for Zwane, for Temba. That kind of player, it's difficult to, to find. Uh, we have a few options, so we will see in the next months uh, what those options will give us. And I hope, I hope we can, we can find someone. But the other side, I have still Percy Tau. Who can play in that position? So uh, um, it's not really the biggest, biggest problems of all, but it worries me a little bit. So, coach, um, are you a little bit worried that uh, Mailula is not uh, playing? I think he's only played two matches. Yeah. You know, um, this is the. Oh no, I, I will say it like this: You have a good agent when the agent is looking at you. But if you have an agent who is always only looking at his wallet, then you don't have it. And I am afraid that my Lula has not a good um, agent. Um, when you let him go to Toronto, where you know that there are two Italian internationals, Insigne is there, that there is a Canadian international, Kerr. Yeah. And you, you let go a young player like this who has 15 games experience in PSL. That is not the right uh, the right choice. And then my Lula don't play, will not play. You will see even in the next months. And in a month, uh, competition is finished in America. So um, for me, he lost the season. And uh, and again and again, it's not. Uh, don't have to blame him for that. Certainly not. I think you have to blame the agent because uh, you know that as an agent, when he goes there, that it will be very, very, very difficult for that guy. And it should have been better that he should stay in in, um, in Sundance and play um, a Champions League again. So he will got the experience and maybe to do the move in one or two years. But now it was um, much too soon and not the right club. Different challenges, but specifically with the Cote d'Ivoire match, how much of it will give you a right up, especially when you look at the right? I didn't understand you. The, the two friendly matches that you'll be playing now, yeah. Yes, the teams are certainly given different challenges, but in terms of the Cote d'Ivoire match specifically, how much are you hoping that will sort of give you a right up, especially when you look at Akon and that space being the location of the tournament? You know, there's certainly um, Swantini will be a good uh, preparation for uh, the games in November. Uh, I don't think we play against teams who will attack, who will try to dominate. It will be the opposite. Uh, they will let us come and try with counter-attacks like Namibia did, and like Esfantini will do also uh, next week. So this is a, a good opportunity for us to, um, to play against such an, an, um, an, uh, an opponent. And it's certainly a good preparation for the games. Ivory Coast and also already DRC are more 
uh, preparations for AFCON. Our better teams, our tougher teams, our uh, teams with more quality. And uh, that gives us also a good experience um, to know what what's waiting for us when we are going to Africa. Before you, you, you went to, to Belgium, you have said that uh, you were a good meet uh, positive coach. Would you end up on that? On what? On meeting coach and meeting team. I don't you understand you. You were going to meet a positive coach. Oh, Malefi. Oh, yes, I did him. Uh, I did him a message, but I don't have a response. Ask him to meet. No response. Coach, um, you're obviously sitting the king for attacking midfielders and number ten. Can you say who's the players that you have your eye on potentially interesting you um, as a long-term Zouane replacement? You know, it's, well, I, I don't think it's uh, the right place here to tell you which players we um, we are looking for. Because uh, when I say A and I pay, take B, A will be <laughs> will be disappointed, and I don't want that. So it's up to them to go on. But again, um, they are not always playing either, and this is a problem. Uh, so let's hope that they will get chances in the next months, uh, because it will be maybe more for uh, for Afcon than now for the qualifiers in November. But um, yeah, it's maybe the only position in the team that worries me a little bit. Uh, certainly in terms of uh, the fact that uh, if one day Temba will be uh, injured again, or yeah, he's not of the youngest anymore. So you can be sure uh, for him it will be very tough to play every game from minute one to minute nine on Afghan. So we need to have an alternative. So let's hope we find it. Push, just on this. Um, you've been here for two to three years now and, and you've seen local talent. And based on also how our players are playing, especially the training camp, we expect that we'd have more players um, who are playing ideally like. Um, Zwane and, and at, that, at that level, why do you think that um, we are struggling to have someone closer to his level? Yeah. First of all, I think um, what is good, very good now, is that those young players are getting more chances in the clubs. Uh, when I came here, it was not a fact. Uh, younger players were on the bench; uh, they didn't get uh, opportunities from the coaches. So the Many coaches are changes are chained. Even top uh, teams make uh, of give the chance to young players. I'm very happy with that. Um, at the other side, um, there is a lot of things who had to be changed if we want um, yeah, to 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 have a good education, a good formation of our players. Um, let's take only that to follow up. Uh, when I, when I see. Uh, that, that we have to make a team one month or six weeks before Chank starts. Because we, we, we didn't play in the months before with those teams. When I see, and that is two years ago in Tokyo, we have the uh, minus 23. And then one year later, we had again a game of the minus 23. And between those two, they never played the game. So how can those players have international experience? How can you have a following up? So those things are, are have to change in this country, and um, also the coaches. Yeah, give the coaches uh, or try to give courses on coaches. This is also SAFA who have to organize it, and it's yeah, it's not easy to organize that on one two days. But we have to do that to 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 increase the the, the quality of our players, of our coaches, of everyone. And, and when you have better quality, you will have better players and you will have better results also. And when we talk about quality and better players, um, we have the final of MTN8 this coming weekend. And from there, you've got 10 players. Uh, we'll yeah. pray for you that there will be no injury so that you, you don't get disturbed. Yeah. But one of the players there is Baseka Marco. Um, we're talking about the troublesome um, left back position. Um, obviously, in terms of the profile, um, he's more of a wing back, um, not a full back like yeah. like like Mayela. What 
that we liked about him? Yeah, first of all, uh, he is better than last season. He plays good for the moment for Orlando Pirates. He's um, he's quick. He's very aggressive in duel. What I like because yeah, he's he's a defender, um, and he's very offensive also. So um, this is uh, always a quality. Um, if you have those qualities in your team, it's, uh, it's also very important. Um, defensively, is not bad, not at all. The only thing maybe you can tell that he's not a tall player. And uh, that can maybe sometimes be a problem if you play against, uh, against teams with, with tall players, certainly as a defender. Uh, that's maybe the only uh, negative thing about him, but okay. I think uh, certainly with the injury now of uh, Maella, uh, he deserves it to be uh, to be with us. Coach, um, were you disappointed? Um, obviously, you spoke about the disappointment of your um, fans. Um, yeah, now yeah. In South Africa, but were you disappointed to hear that some members of staff have been mobilized your fans by contacting your uh, embassy in those fans day to the day? I don't know uh, why and, and how they were there, but for me, uh, I just uh, saw that there were more DRC uh, uh, supporters than the Bafana Bafana supporters. And um, uh, against Namibia, there were not so much Bafana Bafana supporters too. So again, again, I will, I will ask people to come to the stadium. It's very important that players and also we as a technical staff um, uh, fell or feel the support of those guys. Uh, when everything goes well and when you play well and you dominate, and yeah, it's also nice to play for uh, a big crowd. But certainly, when things are not going so well, then you need them. Then you need to come over that uh, bad moment by yelling and by singing and by supporting. And okay, before it wasn't uh, possible because it was COVID. But now this is a little bit disappointing for me that we don't have uh, more supporters like we had against Morocco. Coach, um, can you please just elaborate a little bit on this thing you said earlier on about your conviction that Sanogi will win the league again? And also, Pirates, uh, you know, sort of, uh, you know, helping Sundowns by the fact that they won't be playing in the Champions League. Yeah, you know, when when you play every a uh, week against a very good opponent, you become better. Everyone becomes better. So um, uh, for Pirates, and, and, and maybe <laughs> they will not agree with me, but Pirates win their uh, games too easy, too easily. Um, so this is not good for them. It's, it should have been more a battle every week to win the game. And you see... Uh, in Europe, in those big um, uh, competitions, uh, the final of Champions League is always played by one of those a team of one of those uh, um, countries because every 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 week they have to struggle, they have to battle for for winning, and and maybe it is maybe one of the reasons. I said not it's the reason. It's maybe one of the reasons. That every time for Sundowns in quarter final or in semi final, they are out. Because, yes, this is a, a very tough game every time. You play a very, against a very tough opponent. So it's not good either for Sundowns. So, yeah, I hope that, that, that Chiefs and, 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 and Pirates are becoming again the teams of what they were before. Uh, before I was here, it was always a struggle between those teams to to be champion. The last two, two, three years, there is not a battle anymore. Sundown is already 10 points ahead or 8 points ahead and more. So, yeah, they will be champion again uh, in, in, in February, March. We know already the champion again. And that's really not good for African football. Yeah. Push, when you compare when you arrived here, and, and now, and, and, and I look at uh, even with the squad composition that you had back then, you were still trying to campaign strongly um, in the competition that you're playing, and especially the upcoming World Cup qualifiers. But 
Um, the question I asked you when I was sitting there, now you have uh, Mayambela who's playing in the Europa League, you have the Lion Foster scoring almost every week um, in, in the number one league in the world, um, you have Motiba playing in a top five league, mm. and other players who are coming up. Uh, how has this helped you and also um, bring that fear factor in the support? It helped me a lot eh? because uh, now those players are playing in good competitions. Um, they blame me of disrespect of the nation when I said that your best player, everyone is agree that your best player is Percy Tower, that he didn't play. He didn't play in Al Ali. He was injured, he, didn't, he was not in the team. Everybody said that this was your best player. So when you compare it now, all those players who are on the list are playing. They are playing. They are not there. Or not only there, they are playing. So that means that every week they have a game. And that helped us a lot to, uh, to increase the quality of the team. Certainly. You have Mayambela who plays uh, uh, Euroleague. Uh, you have, you have Persita who plays Champions League. With, uh, you have uh, the two Americans who, have, who are playing in a good competition. Uh, yes, this helps us a lot. Um, before, you have Leroux who was playing also. So, yes, they are used now to play. Before, sometimes you have to play uh, foreign players who didn't play. And then you don't have the rhythm of the game and suddenly you are on a higher level playing. And it's difficult when you see Persitao playing now, take the game against Morocco, and you see Persitao playing before. It's a big difference for Bafana Bafana. So I'm very happy with that, that now we have players who are abroad and who are playing. Um, the last one, the big one next week, is the up control. Um, and unfortunately, uh, we looked to be at least in pot two, but the latest rankings have yeah. us out. Um, what are you hoping to, to get out, out of that? <laughs> what can you hope if you are in pot three? <laughs> can you hope Cameroon? Can you hope Ivory Coast? Can you hope uh, Morocco? Can you hope Ghana? Can you hope... <laughs> uh, there is nothing good. So, uh, yeah, we have to accept that. Even that it's amazing for me, but yeah, it's a kind of points. Uh, that the uh, DRC jumped over us. Um, but yeah, it's it's like that. So uh, we have to live with it. And we have to beat one big team to uh, to go uh, to pass the group stages. So we know what to do. And uh, let's hope we can uh, we can succeed. Yeah, just the final one, Davni, and then we're closing. Um, in terms of your combinations, coach, especially with the injury to Mayela, um, also because we don't have a, a left-footed center back. Um, in terms of your balance, um, especially at, at, at center back, um, I've seen other areas, but I've not seen in terms of this is Hugo Bruce's, um number one center back pairing. I know that Kulu will always be there. Um, so this lack of having a left-footed center back does it limit you in terms of having a set um, pairing there? If you don't have a left uh, center back of a left footed center back who is good enough to be with Bafana Bafana, yeah, then you have to look for other choices. Um, and again, um, that's why we follow uh, the games here with PSL. You find that guy and you see, oh, this one, okay, this one. Uh, there are some young players, but yeah, they are all right footed. So um, again, we are looking and uh, and let's hope that we find them because yeah, it should be better that to have a left and a right footed um, centre back. But yeah, if you don't have them or for, if you don't find them for the moment, yeah, and we have to do it with other ones. Okay, thank you.